Right, I'm on the GoPro now because I left my JH5 at home, but I don't really need that today. Um, we're at Banyap State Park again, and we're at the Labatouche Forest Road unloading area. And looks like everyone's gone home for the weekend. Absolutely nobody here. Got the bike unloaded, ready to go. I'll start warm warming that up in a second, and then, then we'll hit the trails. Should be good. It's a beautiful day. Not too hot. No wind, or there's a little bit of breeze, but it's absolutely perfect. I couldn't have picked a better day. So let's not muck around. Let's go. Let's go. too bad from up here
exist. Oh my god. I've been duped. I've been bamboozled. Oh my god. I'm guessing this is a logging track. That car had to come from somewhere. Unless he's turned around. Worst comes the worst, I'm just gonna ride back all the way and then go on that tarmac road. I'm not going back up that fucking muddy road. Then what's this then? This is definitely the bulk road. So that's the end of this epic adventure, getting a bit lost. Um, but that's all in the fun of it. We got there in the end. A few 
interesting track so i think i'll definitely come back here again um it was so quiet as well i saw saw that white patrol that was stuck um i saw it actually he i bumped into him he was waiting on the side of the road for a mate so i hope you got out okay if you're watching this i doubt you are but still <laughs> um and then i saw another prado which i was the car i think it's the car i was talking about before that was tripping me out because i passed it it was going the opposite direction of me on that track that doesn't exist on google maps um so that was fun and i actually bumped into him again going the other direction on robinson creek fire line which is the track the, a track that goes across the whole park not quite not across the whole park but it goes it's just it starts just there um and that's the hectic track that i was talking about before I came down it actually, and it's a bit that I had to walk. It's just too steep and too rocky. I just I couldn't do it. I thought I'd get too much speed and have a big crash, so I just walked it. And then it came down Bullock Creek track, I think it's called. Um, but yeah, it's I think it did 60 k's, which is alright effort over about an hour and a half. So pretty slow, but bike did amazingly. Use a bit of fuel, um, but yeah. I'm glad I did this on my on the Honda because the KTM would have been a nightmare. It's so heavy. There's a few moments where I was walking it down the hill, and if I reckon if, if I was walking the KTM, I would have lost it because yeah, it got a bit sketchy. Um, and the knobbies as well. The KTM is on um, hybrid tires, like a cross between uh, Continental TKCs, 70s. Um, so they were, they would have been a bit a bit sketchy. Time to pack up and go home. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.